So, hello guys. Today we'll start uh, the first part of exercise number 5, moving log 3D frame. Once again, I will uh, follow the steps shown here on the training manual book. First of all, we'll have to select the three-dimensional uh, structure icon shown here it's different because this is from a previous version of robot and select the european section database let's do it okay let's go to more there we go frame 3d design okay let's make sure that the database is correct job preferences database is still in timber okay europe database let's go to bars over here we'll have to first of all go to bar type pick column i need the ep600 i don't have it i'm going to define it as you may see okay add now we'll draw this by typing the coordinates i have already told you that this is not the best way to define uh, bars but it is as it is in the book, as you may see in the step over here, and to the file coordinates in the beginning and field. Let's do that. Minus 800 zero, zero, and uh, minus 807. Press enter. And now minus 807, minus 800. 14 okay press enter once again now go to the bar type and select beam and we need an epe 240 i don't have it here so i'm going to press this button to define it over here go to epe and select the 240 add now minus eight zero and 10 minus 6 0 and once again 10 it's a beam supposed to be in the same horizontal line okay now let's go to the bar type and select simple bar now we need an upn 240 press this button here and go over here upn 240 add close now minus 808 and minus 6010 press enter uh, now we need to define the, another simple bar which will be an HEB 240. I don't have it here once again, so I'm going to define it. Press add, close, the coordinates will be minus 8014 and 0016. Press enter. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to select the zoom all icon over here. And there we have our structure. Now let's go back to start. Okay. I'm going to go to geometry menu, additional attribute and pick brackets. I have already told you that brackets are used in a structure to increase the rigidity of a structure bar in node zones. I'm going to press the new bracket and in the length field, I'm going to enter 0 0.15 and leave the other options as they are. I'm going to press add and close. And now on this bracket over here, I'm going to the bar field, set the bar number five. Let me turn on the numbering and press click over here and there we have our bracket defined okay 
now let's close this and apply the supports let's go to the supports options over here pick fixed and select the lower node and apply there we go now we go back to start and we are going to do a vertical mirror around this axis over here okay so i'm going to press ctrl a and go to edit menu edit vertical mirror and pick this point okay uh, there we have i'm going to press just a zoom all just to see and to see the section shapes over here this is as it is defined over here okay so in the next uh, video we are going to define the structure loads uh, once again thank you for watching please subscribe and please come back for the next part